Hello, it's time to pray for another state. I thank you for joining me in this time of praying for the state of Oklahoma, which is the 46th state. Oklahoma is the work overcomes all obstacles state. I want to, as we normally do, bring the bad history of Oklahoma before the Lord God, the righteous judge. And I just want to repent of those things. And then I just want to pray on earth as it is in heaven for Oklahoma. So I invite you to join me if you are from Oklahoma or if you have connections with Oklahoma in any way and would like to pray with me. Righteous judge of the universe, I come before you and humbly ask your forgiveness and pardon upon the sinful history of Oklahoma. I place Oklahoma upon your mercy seat and plead for mercy, O oh God. I repent, Lord God, on behalf of Oklahoma. I repent for the government of the early centuries of this nation and how they committed such abominations against the First Nations of America, the land affectionately called Turtle Island by the First Nations. I repent for the government's Indian Removal Act and the cruelty of forcing the First Nations east of Oklahoma to this state and beyond. I repent for the trauma of the Trail of Tears, the loss of life, the loss of land and community, the putting lives in jeopardy, the shattering of hopes and dreams, the robbing of human dignity, all inflicted by our government upon the First Nations. I thank you for the land of Oklahoma receiving the First Nations. However, I repent for the horrific demonic abominations done to the First Nations in their territories in Oklahoma. I repent for the massacre of 1868, taking lives of women and children and even the unborn in the wombs. This evil murderous act of innocent bloodshed was also committed in Colorado four years earlier. I repent, Father God, for both Oklahoma and Colorado for these demonic massacres and ask your blood covering, Lord Jesus of Nazareth, upon this innocent bloodshed and abomination. For Oklahoma land groans over this trail of tears and massacre. Father God, I repent for the government and the 400 land covenant treaties that have been broken with the First Nations in Oklahoma. I know you are witness to this and I know you love covenant and you remember when covenants are not honored. You are a witness against our government breaking covenant with the First Nations. And I come to repent for the government, opening the door to curses of these broken covenants. 
I repent for early settlers who illegally settled into Indian territory and then how the government in greed allowed Indian territory to be opened up to more settlers, making it legal to take Indian land. I repent for the deceptive influence of Freemasons witchcraft upon political leaders and infiltrating the church. I repent for the deceptive influence of Freemasons targeting Native Americans in their vulnerability and opening the door to a spirit of division, hindering unity and defiling the land of Oklahoma. I repent for how demonic influences opened the door to the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. Yeshua Jesus, we need you, O oh, great Redeemer. To redeem these moments when doors of darkness were opened in Oklahoma, you hold the key of David, Lord Jesus. I ask that you close the doors of darkness that were opened in Oklahoma throughout the centuries of the state and that no one can open those doors again when you close them. Uproot these overgrown weeds of covenant breaking attitudes, deceptions of Freemasonry. Lord of angel armies who came to destroy the works of the devil, I ask that you command your angels to Oklahoma to destroy the evil altars of witchcraft, to topple the demonic thrones in Oklahoma to pull down strongholds, influencing deception over the people, over the church, over the First Nations of Oklahoma. For it is not the will of God for Oklahoma to be oppressed by the darkness. Arise, shine, Oklahoma, for your light has come to you. God is visiting and visiting and visiting your state and revealing the plans he always had for you. Plans not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future in God's purpose. Divine interruptions are coming. Renewal and restoration are coming. Holy Spirit is hovering to overshadow and overtake Oklahoma. The days of Saul seeking witchcraft are over. The movement of Saul is dead. Do not mourn over Saul. Instead, the tabernacle of David shall be restored. Worship shall rise to God like never before in Oklahoma and overthrow the enemy in Oklahoma. Worship gatherings are inviting and, in, and attracting the glory of the Lord to you. Covenant with God Almighty shall be renewed in Oklahoma. Jump into the river of God. For the divided streams shall flow together into the river of God, breaking the division and flowing with unity in the force of the river's flow. This is God's justice rolling like a river. Oklahoma, speak faith and let hope arise. 
these prayers of repentance and words of hope, I declare before Yahweh God, under the sacrificed blood of Jesus that covers a multitude of sins, in the name of Jesus, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Amen and amen. And God bless the state of Oklahoma. <laughs>